Developing news this morning, local leaders are calling for immediate action over a deadly intersection at the end of the 105 freeway. KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang live in Norwalk with details on the dangerous spot for drivers. Hi, Kimberly. Lou, hi. LA County Supervisor Janice Hahn is calling attention to this intersection. As you mentioned, she wants changes made as soon as possible. If you take a look right beside me, you can see this is where the 105 eastbound ends at Studebaker Road, and this has been the site of multiple crashes, including fatalities. She says it is badly designed and dangerous. Now take a look. This letter dated today was sent to the California State Transportation Agency and Secretary of Transportation on behalf half of the city of Norwalk. She's referring to the intersection again where the 105 eastbound ends at Studebaker. She says the freeway ends abruptly and that has led to a number of collisions involving drivers who sped through the intersection and crashed into a barricade and even the building across the street. Now several accidents have occurred at this intersection over the past few years, including a car that I mentioned that crashed into a commercial building that sits at the intersection on Studebaker. Han said in 2023, a Alone, there were 12 severe crashes, including two fatalities. Now, Han says her office has been working with Norwalk, Caltrans, and other agencies to try and find solutions. She's now asking for the addition of safety improvements, such as more lighting, signage, and rumble strips along the 105 freeway leading up to this intersection as soon as possible, and that the state also make this location a priority for future funding. Now back here live, you are taking a look at a building here across the street. That was a medical building and it used to operate on that side of the road, but has since been closed due to the number of times that it has been struck by vehicles. Reporting live here in Norwalk, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.